Everybody, so it's time to start reconstructing this thing. This is where it gets a little bit um, wild. So I want you to turn off all of your surfaces within because you kind of need to understand what's being structured and how it's being structured. Um, <clears throat> we are going to take these vertices and we're going to restructure a triangulation from it. Okay. Um, what that looks like is if you go to surface and freeform and four point surface. Four point surface um, is going to ask you for an A, a B, a C, and a D point. Bear in mind, this command is called four point surface, but you only need three points to create a surface. So if you only give it three points, it's fine. Don't worry about it. And that's just what we're going to do. So um, A, B, and C are going to be a particular vertice uh, for a particular one of the vertices for each of these panels so that we can triangulate either side. What I mean by either side is we're going to draw a line across the hypotenuse. Uh, we're going to triangulate it by drawing a line across the actual surface to create a hypotenuse for the triangle. That means I'm going to need to pick which indices I'm going to use in order to either have it cross this way or cross that way. So that would be if I'm going to have this be a triangle on the bottom left side, I'm going to have 0, 1, and 3. If I'm going to have a triangle on the top side, it's going to be 1, 2, and 3. You guys understanding that conceptually? So let's actually do it. Um, in order to isolate these vertices, we need to use, guess what? list item, right? So the cool thing about it is I can just copy this down at this point. And this is an analysis component. I'm going to leave that up there. That's a separate thing, OK? Um, <clears throat> this is my actual definition. So um, in order to control this pretty well, I'm going to make two of these. Uh, or sorry, four of these. So I'm going to copy and paste, put that there, copy and paste, put that there, and copy and paste, and put that there. I need one for each of the vertices. So I'll change the panels to be 0, 1, 2, and 3. This is going to allow me to plug them in as separate items in whatever order I need to plug it in. So. If I'm going to do 0, 1, and 3, I just need to plug that into the corresponding A, B, and C input for the surface 4 point. So I'm going to say 0 for A. Oh, whoops, sorry. These are all still plugged into faces. My mistake. Um, I need to reconnect the vertices in for this instead. So I'll plug that in here, that in there, that in there, and that in there. Is that clear? I'll give you a moment to catch up. All right, continuing on now. Um, so all of these are vertices. Uh, each vertices, uh, each vertex of each of the panels. So um, index zero down here is the A input. We're going to take index one for the B input, and then it, we're going to jump down to index three for the C input, right there. And that creates that kind of right there. Which actually I'm kind of confused about now, because that's, OK, yeah, no, I get it. All right, so why did it only do one? Anybody know? Well. It only did one, it only did one because up here we flattened the list. And when you flatten the list, it only takes the first of each list. And that means that it's only going to take the first vertex of each of the panels. So we need to unflatten those. Unflatten. It's going to look really crazy. Unflatten. Unflatten. And unflatten. There you go. It is crazy, isn't it? Oh. 
I see some pained faces. We gotta talk. About time. Email me. Or I'll email you. What's that? I'll check it out. All right. Um, so, uh, oh, wow, that's still going. Okay. So, uh, guys, let me just kind of sum this up. It seems like I gave you a lot today. Um, we actually did cover quite a bit, and I think we stretched our minds maybe a bit too far with that exercise I gave you for the quiz. And I, I, I kind of sense that you're exhausted. So rather than uh, push through for the last 20 minutes or so of class and just keep giving you more and more stuff, what I'd like you to do is make sure that you thoroughly understand what we did today um, so that we can come back in on Thursday and we can complete this definition, which is going to get much more you know, three-dimensional and we're going to deal with like new subtractive exercises and stuff like that. So I do think this is a good place to pause. What I want you to think about and remind yourself of before you come back into class on Thursday is this, right? Just revisit this briefly at some point before Thursday and, and just think about the fact that every one of these panels has an index, uh, has a, a vertex at each corner that we can use and manipulate to create new geometries, okay? That's gonna be very, very important on Thursday. And then I'll come around and troubleshoot.